Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to our channel. Scar Shar needs to know. Today we are going to talk about the Israel Palestine conflict. We're going to ask questions to an adult from each side. Let's <laughs> get into it. This conflict has been going on since the end of the 19th century and is one of the longest conflicts in history. The area in this conflict that we are focusing on is the checkpoints that the Palestinians have to go through to get into Jerusalem. The reason the checkpoints were made is because there are bus bombings in Jerusalem. And the checkpoints are in place because the Jerusalem government wants to keep outsiders out of the city to lower the bus bombing levels. Now for the interview. Hi, I'm Mr. Interviewer, and today we are here with Dalia Jumana from the Palestinian side. And she's going to talk about her perspective. Tell us about yourself. Where do you live? I live on the outside of Jerusalem, and whenever I need anything, I have to go through checkpoints to get into the city with refugees everywhere, every time I need to get somewhere. What family members went through that conflict? My parents came here and bought a house when I was born. My parents had to really go through it. How did the conflict affect you and your family? Every time I need to get somewhere, like to get groceries or get to work, I need to go through long lines of security. Whenever the border guards are having a bad day or you're rude to them, they can be awful and sometimes not even let you pass. What do you think about the checkpoints? How much do you have to go through to get inside the city? We have to go through 13 checkpoints throughout the central region of Israel. And in the morning, when people are going to work, since it's a lot of people in one area, it can take up to three hours to just get through one checkpoint during rush hour. There's security everywhere, always watching, especially at borders. That's crazy. How would your life be different if you didn't have to go through all those checkpoints? My life would be so much easier. There would be less stress. My family and I would have a much more pleasant life. With the checkpoints, we have to carve out time for everything, even going to grocery shopping or going to the hospital. Hey, I'm Mr. Interviewer the Second, and we were here with Maya Cohen from the Israeli side. So Maya, tell us a little about yourself. Where do you live? I live in the Jewish Quarter in Jerusalem with my family. My mom actually helped um, engineer the city. Oh. So Maya, what family members went through the conflict? My parents and I were born and raised here in Jerusalem, and now I live here with my family of seven. Mm -hmm. So Maya, what do you think of the checkpoints? How much do you have to get through to get inside the city? I live inside of Jerusalem, so I don't have to go through checkpoints since I already live in the city. How does this conflict affect you and your family? Well, there's a lot of security everywhere, but I did have easy access to get to work, and since I lived around the markets, I, it was easy for me to get groceries. How would you feel if there were no checkpoints at all? I'd feel much less safe. The checkpoints help keep my community and buildings safe. I definitely would prefer to have them. They provide an extra layer of protection that is very thorough. I understand that it could take a while to get through one, but I think that everyone I know is willing to take a sacrifice. That, and I expect the civilians that do go through them to agree with us to keep us in the city safe. The Israel and Palestine conflict is double-sided, and whenever you are dealing with a conflict like this, you have to look at both sides of the problem. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope you learned about the Israel Palestine conflict and more. If you guys got this far, then make sure to like and subscribe. We could not have done this without you. Bye, guys.